hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing really really well and the time has come today for me to react to the finalists for benadorm fest this year so these are the songs that made it through to the final which i believe is taking place tonight correct me if i'm wrong i haven't heard any of these songs i've been holding back so because this is going to be first time reaction and then i'm going to kind of give my opinion on each song the staging etc and then tell you which ones I think would be best for Eurovision as a winner for Benidorm Fest and then ones that maybe not so much. So as always, let me know down below in the comments what you think about Benidorm Fest and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. So a little bit of a recap for Spain because last year they came third with Chanel and it was an epic performance. It was unlike anything I've seen at Eurovision because the level of choreography the dancing and the singing at the same time was it was very high intensity it was done so well the pyro the stage show was fabulous it all looked just super super good and they got a really great result so i'm excited to see what they have got on the table this year so without further ado let's get straight into this okay Oh, this is pretty cool. So, Quiero Ardo by Agony. Hope I pronounced that correctly. That sounded really interesting, a very industrial sound. Um, a lot of focus has been put on the instrumental. Um, so I know this is just a short snippet, but it sounded promising. The choreography looked really good, very striking colors. Everything was really nicely in sync. So that sounded really, really promising. I quite enjoyed that. So let's hear the next one. Megara Arcadia. I like that chugging bass line. And that is a very cool hairstyle. So Megara Arcadia, that sounded really interesting as well. I really like, like I just said, that really chugging bass line, you know, where most of the emphasis has been put on the very low notes of the of the piece. It gives this gives it its sort of rawness, mysteriousness, and it's very in your face, which I really like. Clearly a lot of effort's been put into the staging, the colours, the image of it all, it looks pretty cool. Does it sound right for Eurovision? I don't know. Um, I'd probably need to hear a little bit more because it sounds like the kind of track that may or may not stand out. I don't know. I'd have to listen to it. But in terms of the package they've got, the colours, the staging, it looks really interesting and very eye-catching. So let's hear the next song. Okay. So more of a ballad, but powerful vocals. Okay, so Yo Sarah by Alice Wonder. That sounded, um, I think in terms of the vocal performance, I like the power and the passion in that vocal. Not sure I'm a fan of how the music sounds, as in that drum pattern, it's a very slow moving pedestrian sounding track. I know it's just a small snippet, but it sounded like something that could run out of steam quite quickly and you lose interest. Does it have enough in there the whole three minutes to keep you invested? I don't know. The small snippet sounds like it is a good performance and there's a lot of belief behind the singing but I'm not sure what, personally, my own music taste, that aligns with it. I don't think it's this kind of thing I'd listen to in my own time. So let's hear the next one. Okay. Oh, I'm not going to lie, vocals in that one didn't sound very convincing to me. Maybe it's because it's quite high energy and there's a lot going on for the performer. Um, it seemed, sounded a little bit wavering. Um, not sure. I'm sure the studio cut sounds great. Um, but the percussion in that one sounded really cool. Very intricate, 
nothing was predictable about it and I really like that sort of it sounded like a gamelan or some kind of deep percussive instrument creating this swelling sound underneath sounded really cool uh, but vocal not sure about the vocal let me know what you guys think about that one me familiar by fuser nocta okay let's hear the next track <laughs> Very good vocals. Maybe slightly nervous in that performance. There were some notes that sounded slightly flat, but like the power and the vibrato he had was really, really beautiful to hear. But like I said with that other ballad, this type of slow moving progression in a song, that kind of, there's just something to me that, I can't latch on to it as much as I do with stuff that is fast paced because you can have a ballad that's fast paced and I'm thinking of one of the songs from UMK by Alexandra. She had a really, really great ballad that was fast paced, yet it was slow tempo, kept the energy going, kept my interest. This one I'm not sure, but like I said, you know, vocals did sound really trained and really beautifully controlled. Not sure. Okay. Okay, but I'm not sure exactly what that was supposed to be, but the I like the enthusiasm of the performers. Interesting rhythms, yeah. Um, I like the percussion, but I'm not sure if the harmony's all locked in there. Maybe they weren't trying to sound pitch perfect, but my own personal taste, I do prefer it when I can hear that all harmonies and all lines are interlocked and moving together without any wavering notes. But again, it sounded like a traditional sounding piece, which I do admire and I like to see a bit more variety. So yeah, sounded cool. Next song, Blanca Paloma with Iea. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Uh, Blanca Paloma was in it last year. I remember she had a really beautiful song last year, performed exquisitely. So let's hear what this one's like. <laughs> Ooh. This is what I mean by harmonies interlocking. Ooh. Oh, okay. Do you know what? So far, this one is standing out to me. I mean, those harmonies, everyone was hitting their pitches correctly. It was all rhythmically in sync, which is perfect but the lead vocal was standing out at the forefront perfectly. It sounded well controlled. The rhythms, the clapping was very interesting, gives it a USP. I really like this one. This has really stood out to me. Okay, I think I've already found my favorite, but let's not write anything else off yet. Let's hear the next track. Okay. Interesting lack of skirt at the front there. <laughs> Right. Okay, that also sounded like someone who knows how to sing and dance at the same time. I really admire her performance in this because she was hitting a choreography perfectly and then nothing sounded out of tune. So that one, again, pretty good. Not sure if it's my favourite out of all of these, but I'm going to label this one as a potential. So Vicho. Uh, Nocantera, and I hope I pronounced that correctly, 100% um, Blanca Paloma with Iea. That sounds so good. Spain, I think this is the one you need to select. But let me know, of course, what you guys think down below. And please stay tuned for more content coming soon. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye.